Darling, say 15. Mm. All right. What's it like, huh? Gray. Gray? Sleep again? No, no. Do you want breakfast? Mm, that's great. Fried a scramble. Mm. How do you want your eggs? Darling, you are going back to sleep. Oh. Come on. Do you want your bath before or after it? Before. Oh. Well, I won't bother putting them on yet, then. Barbara. Hmm? Come here. You'll be late. I'm sorry about the row last night. Doesn't matter. I was tired and bad tempered. No, it doesn't matter. It was my fault. No. It's my fault. sure you'll get the two weeks off? Yes, I'm sure. What is it? What's the matter? Nothing. Yes, there is. Oh, I don't know, Bruce. It's just that for some people everything seems to come so easily. The right person at the right time. Everything simple and straightforward. I always seem to get involved, always. Always complications. They don't sort themselves out. Will they? When? Just spending the night together sometimes. It's not what I want. I know, it's not what I want either. It's not what I want at all, but. I know the spot I'm in. I've got to be careful. Yes, I know. Well, I mean, you know how uncooperative she's being. She's making it as tough for me as she possibly can. If I'm going to get her to agree to the divorce, I've got to make sure I don't antagonize her. Are you sure you want to? What? The divorce. Now you know I want it.
Wouldn't it be marvellous if this flat were ours? At 15,000? You must be joking. How did you get it? It was easy, my love. When you're the honoured representative extraordinaire of the Brandon Estate Agency, you're in the happy position to take advantage of your client's generosity in their absence. And what if they find out? My dear love, with the owner sitting in the Bahamas, how can he? God bless you, sir, and may the sun rot you. Bruce? Who is it? Meter man. What? Meter man. Come to check the meter. Gas company. Darling, it's a meter man. Come to read the meter. Well, let him in. Pretend you live here. Get rid of him quickly. Yes? Miss Willison, isn't it? Yes. That's right, then. Miss Willison. Well, would you come back later? I'm in rather a hurry. Uh, it'll only take a second. Where is it? The meter? Yeah. I don't know. I, I haven't lived here very long. You don't know where your meter is? Well, I, I haven't seen it anywhere. I really don't know if we have one. You've got gas, haven't you? Yes. Well, if you've got gas, you've got a meter. Where is it? in the kitchen. That's a good idea. Doesn't seem to be in here. I don't see it in here. Mm. Don't seem to be in there, neither. Oh, I don't think you look very, very hard in there. What's this? Bedroom in here? Just a minute. Look. There isn't any meter in here. No, it doesn't seem to be in here. I don't see it. Look, do you mind getting out of here? Why don't you try the bathroom? The bathroom? That's a good idea. Well, come on then. Miss Willison, I believe there's somebody in your bed. No, there isn't. Now, do you mind getting out of here? I'm sure there is. It looks like somebody. Didn't you know there was somebody in your bed? Do you mind getting out of here? I am sorry. He seems to be asleep. Your husband is still asleep, Miss Willison. I'll try the bathroom then. Well, get rid of him for heaven's sake! The bathroom's over here. Okay, okay. Yes, it's okay. What is it? What do you want? He's my partner. I'm Tom, he's Dick. And Harry's waiting downstairs. Yes, Harry's waiting downstairs, just in case. Did you read it? The meter? Yes. No. We haven't found it yet. I haven't found it. Where is it then? Well, I don't know. I don't... It may be in the bathroom. Or in the kitchen. I don't think he looked very hard in the kitchen. Miss Willison's husband is still asleep. Miss Willison's husband? Yes. He's still in bed. Asleep. He's dozing. Dozing. Wait a minute. Maybe there's been a mistake. Maybe it should be Mrs. Willison. Let me see that. No. Top floor flat, Miss Willison, Miss Barbara Willison, right? Right. Now, will you please get on with it and get out of here? Yes, let's get on with it. I'll check the kitchen. I'll have a good look. Is this it? Yes, that's the kitchen. You'll find it. Dick's good at checking things. He checks everything. He's got the magic eye. Yes, I'm sure he has. If you don't mind, I'll go and get dressed. I'll be a little late for work. Oh, wait a minute. 
it'll only take a minute. Dick's quick. He's terribly quick. Whoops. I'm sorry. That's quite all right. What time do you have to be at work? Nine o'clock. What's the time now, then? Oh, uh, about twenty past eight. Well, that's all right, then, isn't it? I found it. He found it? Yes. It was over on the other side of the fridge. By the back door. There's no back door. No back door? No. That's the only way out, then. Yes. Well, that's not very handy, is it? I mean, in case of fire or something. Not very safe, not very hygienic. Could you take a reading? No. I didn't have a pencil. Oh. You take this. It won't be long. Tom's very good at reading meters. He's an expert. He has the velvet touch. What are you doing? What are you doing that for? What am I doing? I'm securing the door. What for? So no one can come in. I mean, we don't want to be disturbed while we're reading the meter, do we? Bruce? Did you call me? No, she called Bruce. Bruce? Bruce! Yes, Bruce. Bruce? Did you take a reading then? No. I didn't have my pad. What's going on here? What the hell's going on? He woke up. Looks like it. Hasn't got dressed yet, though. No. Uh, we're sorry to have disturbed you, but uh, we're just taking a reading of your meter. Uh, I mean Miss Willison's meter. Are you Mr. Willison, then? What the hell's it got to do with you? Get on with it. Darling, they've locked the door. Locked the door? What have you done that for? For security. Just to be on the safe side. Look, I think you'd better go. Oh, we'll go. We won't be long. I think you'd better go right now, otherwise... Otherwise? Otherwise what? Otherwise I'll call the police. <laughs> call the police? We are the police. Special branch. Yes, we're making a checkup. you see. There are a lot of things we have to check. This is yours, isn't it? Yes. That's mine. I wouldn't do that now. I wouldn't try that if I were you. It's disconnected. Yes. It's been cut off. Harry took care of that. Yes. Harry took care of that downstairs. What do you want? You want money? Money? We've got money. Yes. We've probably got more money than you have. There isn't anything of any value here. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Would you, Dick? Oh, no, Tom. I wouldn't say that. Well, what do you want? What do you want, for Christ's sake? For whose sake? For Christ's sake, he said! That's not very nice. That's not nice at all. That's not very hygienic. I think he'd better sit down. Don't yes, you? I think he'd better hat. <laughs> Did you bring the provisions? Oh, yes. Plenty of provisions.
feet up. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Very polite. You. I think he's got a mean streak in him. You know, I could put this right through your throat and you'd never hear a sound. Well, hardly any sound. <laughs> Everyone has their own island. You bastard! Now, be a good Miss Willison. I don't want to have to use this. Oh, I don't want to use this. So, just be polite and nice. If you are nice and polite, no one will get hurt. There's no need for anyone to get hurt very much. work in a shop. What sort of a shop? A dress shop. Sell dresses, do you? Sweaters, mostly. <laughs> mostly sweaters. What about you, Bruce? You work in the same shop, do you? You sell dresses? Or sweaters, maybe. <sighs> He's in a mean Supposed to have taken care of that. Supposed to have taken care of that downstairs. Do you suppose it could be Harry? Ringing up from downstairs. Is there a phone downstairs? I don't know. We don't want to have to tie you up to. It's nicer if we don't have to tie you up. Do they ever give you any sweat? Does that shop be your work? Do they ever give you any for yourself? I should give you a sweater or two. 
Harry should have taken care of that. He slipped up. Yes. Sit down, Miss Willison. doesn't it? Yes. Everything's fine. You haven't got any glasses in there, have you? In my bag? No. Where'd you keep your glasses, Miss Willison? In the kitchen, probably. Yes. anymore, Miss Willison. Because we're going to have a party. Music, dancing. And lots of games. <laughs> Lovely games. You people will spend the rest of your lives in prison for this. You know that, don't you? You're not going to play our games. We're just going to ignore you. Is he playing up again? He's being very... ...fanciful. We'll ignore him. That's what I thought. We won't give him a drink then. Definitely not. you a drink. Wouldn't you like it? It's good whiskey, the best. I bought it last night. It'll do you good. You'll like it. I think I'll just check the bedroom. That's a very good idea. I'll just... You wouldn't want to offend us, would you? I mean, when you're invited to a party and given a drink by the host, it's an insult not to enjoy it. Drink up, dear. All of it, Miss Willison.
The sun's coming up. I think it's going to be a fine day. The sun's too clean for a party. I think I'll close the curtains. doing to me? Doing? Nothing. Just getting you in the mood. Nicer like this, isn't it? Oh, yes. Did you find anything? I found this coat. That looks like a very nice coat. That's from a man's suit, isn't it? Yes. Bruce's. It matches his trousers. So it does. Try it on. I think I should. Yeah. Why not? 